Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video. Uh, this haircut, actually we're going to be doing a small little JRL Fast Fade 1000 Clipper review. We're going to be doing a skin tape up on the side and back. And uh, I've been using this clipper for a little while now, so it's not my daily clipper, but I uh, wanted to give you guys a heads up on uh, awesome clippers. So. I'm gonna start off on the back. To set my foundation, I use my number two guard. So I set, I use my number two guard for pretty much almost everything to set a foundation to begin the fade. So here with the blade closed, using the regular blade that comes with the clipper, set my foundation. Once I do that, I take my, my fading blade, which I bought separately, and I set my initial guideline for the skin. I open the blade, set my found my second guy line about half an inch up, maybe three quarters of an inch. Once that's done, I closed the blade three clicks up. This clipper comes with clicks. Uh, the lever is a little different than the usual lever that, you know, the traditional way of doing things. Once I knock out that bottom line, I take my number one guard and I open the lever. Using a scooping action, uh, like a flicking, action i go ahead and set another guy line close the lever so i can remove that line between the half and the one and a half this clipper is a little weird uh, with the guard so i had to really work hard to get rid of that line and using the 116 guard which is the half guard right here i am really working hard to get rid of that line so it's a little bit different than what i'm used to with the wall and then to fine tune everything here with the one and a half guard, start away with the blade open and gradually I start closing it to fine tune everything and all the details here. All right, now the clipper work on the back is pretty much done. So here with my thinning shears, I am just blending that hair, that heavy line from the number two guard to the rest of the hair that he has. Thinning shears is a great tool uh, to do that. Now I'm starting to set the shape up along the sides. I'm taking advantage that I'm starting with the side and I set my first initial guideline for the tape up. We're gonna keep the, the sides very, very low skin tape up. We're not gonna bring it too high. And just setting the shape up um, along the ears, cleaning everything up, setting the line, making that sharp and then making the, uh, the tape up pop. Um, I've been using this JRL clipper for um, for a couple weeks now. There are a lot of things that I like about it and there are a lot of things that I really don't like about it. I've been saying it in my previous videos that I am going to make a product review on this clipper and I will soon, as soon as I get a chance, but I promise that I will. Stay tuned, subscribe so that you can get notified once the video is up. Now we're gonna start working on the tape up on the sides. So. The same way I started out on the back, I am going to do on the sides. I take my number two guard, I am literally going just a tiny bit above ear's height, I set my foundation, and I start my process of working from the bottom up. I already has set my initial guideline, and so I open the blade, I set the second guideline, and then I remove the bottom line. Then I use the number one guard with the lever open, I close it to remove to remove that line and then I use the one and a half to smooth everything out. The sides are a little bit trickier because you don't have as much room to blend. So you have to really be careful. Also remember that because there's such a little room to blend, there is gonna be a very heavy line as you see there on the top that we set from the number two guard. I don't worry about that. I will be going back there with my, with my scissor over comb technique and I will get rid of that. Here with the scissor of a comb technique, I am literally just blending everything, making every, making sure that everything is blended. Really, there's no secret about the scissor of a comb technique. It's just a matter of practice and picking that up. The only way you're gonna learn how to do this uh, efficiently and, and 
really, really well is just to just to keep doing it. The tape up is pretty much done here. I am just literally fine tuning everything out. And now with my thinning shears, I am breaking up that heavy line. I'm smoothing everything out. There it is, guys. This is the skin tape up. I mean, this is what you get. If you have any questions, any comments about this JRL clipper, please leave a comment below. I'm really curious to find out what you guys think about this clipper or if you're what questions you may have regarding this clipper. I uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.